<clears throat> Alright guys, so, um, today I got an alarm to unbox, and I am on the phone with Temple92, also known as hey. Dan. Yep, he's here with me. So, uh, yeah, this is a pretty rare alarm, and, uh, did you have something to say? A few people have it, um, I know that, uh, give me a second to remember who it was. So, YouTube user VIC Nasty1989 has this alarm. And then Federal 3T22 has, and I, and I do as well. Yeah. So, those are a few other people that actually have this alarm. So, uh, yeah. You'll see what it is in a second. So, let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna mm -hmm. set- I'm gonna set the so, camera down while I cut mm -hmm. the, uh... But... Yeah, but right now, if you want to think of what the alarm is, pause the video, and I'll give you a hint. What smoke alarm is rectangular and has a red test button? Yep. And another hint is that it is not a GE. It's a rebranded GE, but it's not a GE. So, uh... And no, and no, the test button is not on top of the ionization chamber. <sighs> Oh, okay. I think we just spoiled it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, I'll let you know that I've actually un have unboxed two alarms yesterday, too. Yeah. You, you, did you get the video uploaded yet? Not yet. I want to oh, get okay. what, what we still have to get done first. Ugh. The, the two alarms that I have unboxed yesterday are... The first alert, like SA67B, this is the newer SA67D. Alright. Jesse, you're gonna show them? Yeah. Are you gonna show it? Um, yeah. If you guys wanna see his so alarms. This, this is the SA67B, it's that alarm with the smiley face shit. <laughs> yeah. Quote unquote. Open it up. <clears throat> the, the SDX has. A video testing two of these. Yeah. Or either this or the identical SA68, which has, um, where the LED, I mean, it still flashes around, but the actual lens around it is red, because on this oh. one it's clear. I, I thought that this was the SMK60M3, but it's actually the SMK60M1. Is that what the box says? Yeah. Alright, I'll go ahead and get it open now, because I got the box. The box is probably false advertising. Yeah. False advertisement, excuse me. Here's the box. So, yeah. let's go ahead and... VIC Nasty 1989 has got his in that box, too. Try to cut this. I, I want to try, try not to destroy the actual packaging, because I want to keep the packaging. And, oh, oh. yeah, the, the other alarm I unboxed is this. Yeah, that's the, uh... SA87B. I used to have a similar one. I had the SA97B. The difference between that one and the SA97B is that the SA97B has a lithium battery and that one doesn't. The only thing that, yeah, but there's there's two things that kind of don't make that much sense in this alarm. And the first is that the LED is completely green. Yeah. And the second is that you can see that it, it takes one battery, but there's provisions for a second. Yeah. All right, can I... This one has a hush button. Yeah, go ahead. All right. So let's go ahead and pull it out of the box. I probably yeah. got to set my camera down for this, too. Yeah, you and can there it is. Jesse's SA97B on his father's old channel, Rob Ooh. Billy. Okay, this is a little bit different than I was expecting. It has the... It? Has oh, the... it's a 60M. Wait, does it say General Electric or Black & Decker on it? Uh, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a Black & Decker, it's a 60M1. Oh, Edlund has this one. Yeah. This is not the one I was expecting. The one I was expecting to get was the one that has, like, the test button more on, like, the center of the cover. That was the one I was expecting to get. I wasn't expecting to get this one, but it's still cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and open it up. Yeah. Then, when I was e pretty much eBay searching... On Black & Decker alarms, I saw one that said SMK60 and 2. Yep. I got this one off of eBay for $7. That's right. $7. That's pretty cheap. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal. 
Here's the old GP battery that was in it. It's probably dead as a doornail, I'm sure. Eh, oh, whenever I, can... I get Black & Decker alarms, these, they're already corroded. Yeah. This one, this one looks like it's in pretty good shape, but the battery's like really warm. I know I have like a, like an old battery collection. I'll probably just add it to that collection. But yeah, so if you look on the inside, it's got the trumpet style PA zone. It's got the uh, the uh, three slot black plastic uh, sensing chamber, and I'll show you. And, and, oh, and in fact, Jesse had another black and decker alarm. I did. I in my old collection, which is now in storage, I had the SMK thirty, and it. It's it's basically it's an hush button. yeah. It's basically an SMK9 with a hush button. So. SMK9 is a alarm with a square cover. You can find it on my channel. Yeah. And it has the the 34 is actually the same as okay. So I'm sure most of you British enthusiasts know the EI Electronics EI100BN. Yeah, he has one of those too. It's a British one. It and it's pretty. It's got the same circuit board. All right, I'm about to put the battery in. You ready? Yeah. All right, it, it might go off, I'm so let's see. I'm my fingers to make sure it's done. Please. All right, here we go. All right, well, it kind of chirped. So, uh... Yeah, I kind of heard, I kinda heard a, a weak chirp. All right. You ready? Yeah, go about for to it. Give it a test. Here we go. Beeps pretty fast. Yeah, but not as fast as the GEs. Yeah, not as fast as as the uh, GEs. The GEs are kind of like it's they're kind of like that. You can you can find one on my channel. Yeah, he is he is a model 8201 slash four or no 8201 41 c slash M1. Yeah, and then you also have a. Uh, yeah, yeah, you also have an 8201301. I, I can show you my 8201401 CM1. Alright, go ahead. Go ahead and give it another test. Yeah, it's pretty... It's actually not too loud. So, yeah. It's got the, uh... The, uh... You know... It's it's got the rectangle. It's got it's it's a it's a rectangular alarm. Um, I don't actually have one of these yet. So uh, this is a good start. Now I'm gonna try to open it back up again. So like I said, it's got the trumpet style PA zone. It's got the three slot black plastic sensing chamber. And here's the test button. It sounds a little bit lower pitched. Um, if I have the cover open and there's the inside of the cover. So, uh, yeah. So I'm back. Yep, he's back. So this is my General Electric smoke alarm. Yep, that's the, I don't uh, think you can see it, but the General Electric logo is on this one. Yep, that's the, that's his 8201401C. M1. It's, it, this, so it's, got it's basically the same thing as this. Pretty much. I don't think I've ever realized this, but it, this one actually has 0.9 microcarries of Americium 241 instead of 2. This one has... This yeah, this one has 0.92. Which is the same. Actually, the base on the horn on this one's a little different. So you can see on the back, see, 0.9 microcarries. Yeah. It's pretty yeah, much the got the same after. thing as mine. Like, it's got the... It's got... His has also got the trumpet style piezo on the three slot black plastic okay. sensing yeah. chamber. It's a little... This one's a little different, though. Yeah. Let me beat faster. I had a battery. It's in my room. Alright. Yeah, I've been, like, so impatient to get this thing. Alright, well, we're just gonna wait for him. Okay, that should work. Alright, so here's this one. Went off 
instantly. Yeah, his beeps faster than mine, and it also has a higher pitch, too. See, I'll test mine again. So you can kind of hear. Yeah, it does. The pitch kept changing. It's changing. Okay. I'm going to remove the cover fully and try this again. Put the battery in place. Nah, never mind. I thought it would get I thought it would get lower like yours. <laughs> Yeah, when when you have the when you have the cover open, like I said, the pitch changes. Yeah, but this one kept changing in alarm. There, like, and then the sequel to that one that Jesse has is this. Yeah, that's this is the second generation in SMK six D M three. Yeah, that's the SMK six D M three. So when Actually, I Actually, the older ones have the older ones have the vents open all around. Yeah. This one's kind of more like the EI style. Yeah, it looks similar. It's got the test button kind of more in the center. Unlike this yeah, one. Yeah, the inside looks like this. See the horn's a little different? I can open and up this again. is a different ionization chamber. This one's got a, it's got a weird screw holding the can shut. I can't see it. What kind of screw is it? A tri-point one. Huh. Oh, the, yeah, the mine has them, too. Piece. See, mine has them, too. The silver piece is the, is the test button. See, mine's also got a tri-point one right there. It's got a tri-point yeah. screw in there. Let me see. Oh, and it did three beats. Yeah, it did three beats. You see, this one does four six. This is the box again. Yeah, that one does four six. This one does a really fast... Kind of, kind of a fast five six. Uh, fast, I'm gonna say it's faster than the first alert SA ninety LTs, isn't it? Huh? What'd you say? I said it's a lot faster than the SA ninety LTs. Yeah, it is. That's and true. And the SMK nine, it's got a bigger square cover with round venting. Yeah, the one that the one that I used to had had the hush button. Yeah, uh, this one's kind of this one's a little bit broken because a little tab that holds it shut broke off. It still works. Ooh, that was a weird chirp. And <laughs> I just did a higher one. This one's hard to do because the both plugs, both outlets on the battery connector is bent. So there, got it. So that. All right, this one also does four six, but it does it a little yeah. faster. The SMK30 had a little square with a circle on it at the corner, and that was the hush button. Yeah. All right, you got... Probably, I think it would have been posed right here, right? Yeah, I think it was around there. And it's got it, and then that one also has an LED. All right. Once again, on Wesley's old channel, you can find it. It does 5-6. Yeah, do you, have any other, do you have anything else to say? Because this video is already at 14 minutes. I should probably end it. And that's, uh, if you ask me, that's about it. I'm not going to show you my EI-100PN. You probably already know what it looks like. Probably. All right. Oh, yeah, the button, on, the button on this says test, if you can't see it. Yeah. All right, well, uh, yeah, that's about it. You want to wanna say anything else? Please subscribe. Yeah. Um, All the usual. We're going to be making another video shortly, on his channel. Shortly after we finish this one. Yeah. All right. Bye.